Hey YouTube, it's Mike with Osmond Reptiles, putting out another little video. So I have here uh, a homo homemade incubator I'm trying to make. Uh, I'm not actually putting any eggs in it yet or using it for that uh, purpose yet. But uh, I had a, got a mini fridge and I basically gutted the inside, took out the air compressor, um, all of that. And uh, before I open it up, right now I just have a thermostat that I wasn't using. It's not a very expensive one, it's kind of a cheap one. But um, basically it's like $50 at Petco. BAH 1000 thermostat. I have it set just over 92 degrees, but you'll see why in a second how 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 it uh, works on the inside. Um, so on the inside of the incubator, I have ooh, good heat. So right now it's at just under 90 degrees according to this temperature um, or this thermometer. Over here I have the probe that goes to the thermostat. Uh, on the bottom I have the 11 inch heat tape. Then I have the water bottles on top. I have a computer fan I've set up over here, and it looks real sloppy, but I had to have it off the wall because it needs to be able to take air in from the back to be able to blow air. But this circulates the hot air when it's running. Uh, neither of these tubs have anything in them right now. They are just uh, for experimentation purposes. Uh, so for instance, this tub here, um, it's vermiculite, hatch right, and some water mixture. It's sitting at just over 80 degrees humidity, air 80% humidity. This is the one I'll probably use for, I have a corn snake clutch coming really soon. Um, so I'll probably actually use this for the corn snake clutch. The temperatures are high for corn snakes, but for now I'm just testing it out. This is another one I made. This one is at 90% humidity, and the only difference is I added a little bit more water to this one. So this one's a good one for ball pythons. Um, I am expecting another clutch probably in late March or early April. Uh, as you can see, my fan just turned on because it's open. So there's the fan, you get some air coming out. Plugged up some of the little holes out of the things I had to remove. Now my questions YouTube are, um, I really want comments, suggestions, positive feedback on what I could do to make this better, if I can make it better, um, and any type of suggestions in that fashion. This is my first time ever trying to build something like this. Um, so again, it seems to be working, you know. Um, not the best thing in the world, but at the same time, uh, I'm expecting at least a couple more ball python clutches this year, and they're not going to fit in that little incubator that I just had in the last video. So I needed something bigger. So again, any positive feedback, suggestions people can give me, I would love to hear it about how to make this incubator even better. And then while I'm down here in the basement, I just want to do a quick uh, showing of the rat room. We just rearranged it since the video we put out. We put the two racks next to each other over here. And then I've labeled the rats. So this is like one rat down here are the mice, one mouse. Um, sorry, my cat. Um, that way, um, if you look over here on our whiteboard that's set up, I can just look over here and I know that in the one R, I have 11 fuzzies, three females, one male. These are the adults, these are the babies. So that's how I can just know as I look. Um, and then it also opened up, there's a lot more space here in the middle. Um, and then as you can see, we have the, everything else is the same in here. You know, storage over there, storage here. So that's the rat room. So, you two, again, would love to hear some positive feedback, comments, suggestions on the incubator. Um, keep watching my stuff, keep sharing it, following. Uh, check out my Facebook. I've been posting pics of uh, both corn snake and ball python uh, breedings that I'm doing. Um, so I guess I'll see you. Thanks.